Upgrading Dynamo graphs sucks, especially when it comes to Dynamo 2.13 and up, the versions that have the nodes that are a dark mode. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that helps you upgrade these graphs in a way nicer way. Uh, this tool is free, it is supported by the Dynamo team, and it is on GitHub at the Dynamo Graph Migration Assistant. So that's what we're going to install today, get this going, and it's really easy to use. Uh, so let's get into that now. So first, you're going to head on over to the Dynamo Graph Migration Assistant repository. The link's in the description below. And we're going to go ahead and download it from the releases page. So over here on the right, we do see releases. We'll click on that and we'll navigate down and we can click on the Dynamo Graph Migration Assistant .7z file. So that's going to be right here in those assets folders. Uh, so within that, you'll click on that, download the file, click on this little folder, and we'll see that it is in our downloads. Important, this is a .7z extension because we want you to use 7-zip to unzip the file. Uh, with Dynamo packages, installing them manually, if you don't use 7-zip, there's often a lot of issues, so we just named it a .7z to force you to use that. Uh, sorry for making your computer better. Uh, go ahead and go to Show More Options, and we will go to 7-zip, and we'll click on Extract to Dynamo Graph Migration Assistant. Once that's extracted, we have a folder with all the typical things that come in a Dynamo package. We'll go back, cut it, and in our little browser toolbar, we'll type in percent at data percent. So that's very important because what that does is it allows us to jump to our roaming app data, which is where Dynamo stores packages by default. So under Dynamo, we have Dynamo Core, Dynamo Revit, I'm suggesting for everyone to run this in Dynamo Core. You can run it in Revit, but the overhead of Revit isn't really necessary in this case because all we're doing is moving graphs around and things like that, all the nodes and all the spacing we're fixing. And we'll see that here in a moment. So in my case, I'm going to use Dynamo Core 2.18 and we'll go to the packages. I don't have any packages installed. Uh, that way we can just install this one and use it for this example. So in this case, we have our Dynamo Graph Migration Assistant, good to go from there. If you want to install Dynamo Core.2.18, you can go to dynamobuilds.com and navigate to the 2.18 installer and you'll also be good to go. Uh, that's located right here on that page. Uh, so that's something else for you to use. Uh, for a little more info about how the Graph Migration Assistant works. You can check that out on GitHub. We won't do that all in this video, but I encourage you to go read about it here and see what all it does. The biggest ones are the node spacing that I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, so that is in my packages folder now. So what we'll go ahead and do is open up Dynamo and let that load for a little bit. All right, now that Dynamo is loaded, we'll click on Launch Dynamo and we'll make sure that we have our Dynamo window maximized. We're good to go there. And the extension shows up under the extensions tab. If it does not show up here for you, really important, you need to go look at your package folder and make sure you unzipped everything correctly with 7-zip. That's once again why it's a .7z extension. Uh, if we click on this, it will open a blank workspace and it gives us access to the tool. All view extensions in Dynamo need access to a workspace, so we just open one for you if you click the tool uh, before opening a blank one. Uh, so that's kind of how that works. Uh, in this case, we have a source folder and a target folder. So what I'm going to do is show you real quick my little source folder here. I have a folder with a subfolder in here that has five graphs and an overall folder that has eight graphs. Uh, so these are Dynamo graphs that I want to upgrade, fix the spacing. By default, if I go ahead and drag one of these in, we'll see what it does uh, in a newer version of Dynamo. These are pre 2.13. Uh, so this is really awesome, right? All of our nodes overlapping and all those kind of things. It's not awesome. And it's terrible that this happens on upgrades. So that's where this tool came from. Uh, so what we're gonna do is click on a new blank workspace once again. We'll close this thing and we'll take a look here. So the way that this tool works is you point to a target folder and then you push all of these changes to a new uh, set of files. So what we'll do is we'll make a new folder called upgraded. We're good to go there. So in order to use the tool, we'll just go ahead and look at this interface here. And if you're ever curious what things you're missing to make the tool run, hover over your start button and it will show you which things you're missing. So we are missing a source and target folder at this time. If I go to my desktop and pick my updater testing, 
we will see that that one is now fulfilled and I have a total of 13 dynamo graphs to upgrade in this case. Uh, so that's really nice. The other thing that's happening is we have all of them listed here below. So all of these graphs are currently listed out for me. The next thing that I'm missing is the target folder and I'm missing this trusted locations. So with Dynamo 2.13, I think, uh, maybe 2.16, they introduced this concept of trusted locations. So Dynamo graphs can't be trusted, uh, so you have to force trust them. I've never had an issue with a Dynamo graph doing anything bad to my computer, but they added it for you to be able to consciously pick what you want to trust. If it's not currently trusted, we're giving you the option to trust that location. That helps the tool run. So you do need to check that if you want to use this tool. If you already have those folders trusted, you should be good to go from that point as well. Uh, so that's another thing to keep in mind. We will go ahead and pick a target folder. So in this case, I have a folder called upgrade. And now if we hover on the start, we'll see that we fulfilled all the criteria for this to run. So this window will stay on top as it runs. So I'll just drag it over to the left and we'll kind of take a look here. Let's make my, yeah, there we go. That's really nice. The other thing that I want to note is if you pick a file that the versions are already in, they turn blue because it's just a copy action at that point. There's no upgrade to be done. By default, the idea of this tool though is to move from previous generations of Dynamo that were light gray to the newer generations that are dark gray. In this case, we want to keep that same folder structure. We'll clean up the node layout and we'll update the if node. So something happened with the if node between 2.10 and 2.12 that breaks your Dynamo graphs and that doesn't get fixed when you upgrade them. Awesome, I know, but this tool helps you do that. We also have a few optional things in here as well. And we have a lot of help in the help file for this. So if you hover on the question mark and click it, you do get an entire help file that instructs you on how to use this tool. So we will see all the different things in here as well uh, using that documentation, so really nice. Uh, for graph updates, we also have some settings for spacing out the nodes. So if you're familiar with Monocle's resizer -er tool, uh, that has similar settings. Uh, this has those built in as well. And yeah, you'll be good to go from that point of view. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll just use the default ones of clean up node layout and update if nodes and we'll take a look at our upgraded folder. I'll make this a little smaller. We're gonna have a lot of stuff going on on my screen here. Once you click start, the process starts and it starts upgrading these files. So you will see it open and you will see the node space out a bit. Uh, so that's kind of how that works right now. These graphs are now going to look a lot better when it comes to how they look in Dynamo and the if nodes will work. Uh, so we'll let this run real quick and then we'll pop back on and see how it all looks. And now we're all done and we can see that we successfully migrated 13 graphs. Uh, so we'll click OK on that and I'll drag this over to the side. One thing worth noting is workspace references, uh, which helps you understand if you're missing packages on any workspace. Uh, this will pop up while running. That's not something we can fix. Workspace references is there. Uh, we asked for it. It was implemented and now we can't get rid of it. So that's always going to pop up if you have packages in use that you don't have installed. You can ignore it. All we're worried about is spacing out the nodes and changing the if nodes in this case. So that's the two things that I selected. So keep that in mind. Don't freak out if that's popping up. Uh, it's not a big deal. You can ignore it in this case because we're not running the graphs at this time. I'll close it. We'll see that all of these are going and this little button changed to view output. If you click on that button, it will open a new folder explorer for you to be able to see uh, what all did run. So in this case, I have all my graphs in here. I have a log file. So if I double click that, you'll see what all it did. Uh, so in this case, there was no if nodes in quite a few of these, but there were nodes that were moved, uh, nodes and notes that were moved. So this gives you an idea of what we did to upgrade the graph. Uh, worth noting as well, this tool does not just fix graphs that are broke that don't open in a newer version of Dynamo. If you have an old graph that's like from Revit 2014 and you're wanting it to open in Revit 2023, you need to have reasonable expectations. Uh, that might not be opening because of old packages or things like that. 
This is mostly meant to migrate us from like that Revit 22 version to Revit 23 or Revit 24. The light gray nodes to the dark gray nodes. That's the idea here. So if you have any issues with this, go add them to the GitHub page. You can add issues there. But if your issue is, oh, the graph didn't work and this didn't fix it, don't add it. That's not what this tool does. If you have an issue like that, post it on the Dynamo forum. This log file also helps you resume the run if something goes wrong. So we are documenting the Dynamo graphs that were upgraded. So if you paused it or it stopped for some reason, you can resume it as well. So that's the other idea here. So let's go ahead and close this window and we'll drag in one of these graphs uh, that we did fix. So let's see. Yep, so we'll go ahead and drag it in now. Take a second to open. And now we'll see that this graph, we're going to click yes, because it doesn't trust the upgraded path. Uh, that upgraded thing kind of drives me crazy. But we'll see that we have all of our nodes in here that are all spaced out now. These would have all been overlapping had we just upgraded it normally. Additionally, those if nodes are being replaced and all those good things. Uh, so this graph's good to go. We can open it in Revit and be able to use it now from this point of view. Uh, what this graph does is it's something Revit wise for setting up projects, but that doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, once again, if you were wanting to do this on a graph by graph basis at this time, if we go to the updater testing folder that I had, I'll open one of the broken graphs and let's take a look here. So if you were to install the monocle extension, you have access to a graph resizer. -er. This uses the same values as the migration assistant and it lets you essentially space them all out the same. So this works on one graph at a time. The graph migration assistant works on several graphs at a time. So that's kind of how this uh, works in this case. Uh, this also reverts them back to what they were before if you really wanted. Uh, so that's another option too. Uh, so there you have it, a way to make your Dynamo graphs upgrade process a little bit nicer in a batch way. I encourage you to head over to GitHub, download the latest release, if you have any issues at all, add them to the issues page. And I hope this helps everyone out. We look forward to you testing the tool. Let us know what you think. And thanks for checking out this video.